Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Kishwar Zubair, and today we are going to talk about Message in a Bottle, the book and the movie. It is the second novel by Nicholas Sparks, and it was my first book by him. And I'm not much impressed. Inspired from Sparks' father, this novel deals with the theme of love after grief or second chance at love. And it was adapted into a romantic drama film with the same name in 1999. And I enjoyed it more than the book. The story is about Theresa Osborn, a Boston newspaper columnist, divorced and mother of a 12-year-old son. She is busy with her life, work, and child. There is no man, love, or romance in her life. And though she never admits, she wasn't fully over her husband's deceit. Her trust was shattered, and she couldn't move on. But everything changes when one day she finds a letter on the beach while jogging, inside which is a love letter. Return for Catherine, signed by Garrett. Uh, Theresa gets intrigued, and the warmth of the words in the letter evokes certain emotions in her that even she fails to understand. And hence, she starts looking for the man who wrote this letter. And that's where enters Garrett Blake, a boat builder living not so peacefully in the peaceful city of North Carolina. He is a romantic man struggling with the with the death of his beloved wife, Catherine. both the protagonists are unhappy and broken but everything changes when they meet each other garrett and theresa gets attracted to one another instantly and they eventually falls in love and if you think that's where the story ends no that's when we reach the middle of the book and or the movie the real drama starts after this There are many other problems that Theresa and Garrett face like the long distance between them both lived in two different cities and it was really hard for them to decide who will give up the comfort zone to make their relationship work Garrett couldn't get over Catherine and at certain points it felt as if he's using Theresa as her replacement which was really bad also Theresa keeps the secret of finding uh, the letters that Garrett wrote for Catherine because she thought that he might not understand and she might lose him which again was wrong because relationships can't be built on lies also initially i understood why she couldn't tell him but then as the story evolved there were many a times where she could have easily tell him but she decides not to and i just didn't like it then there is father son and mother son relationship and there is friendship and everything felt a bit too much to me and the book is slow paced so i kind of grew tired after about half of this book as you notice the story isn't that complicated it is quite simple and yet this book is 370 pages long the author dragged the story unnecessarily i would have enjoyed it more if it would have been shorter and this is where the movie wins while it took me 5 days to finish this book the movie was just 2 hours and 10 minutes long and i guess it was more than enough i guess that's just my limit to put up with romance i am not a huge fan now let's talk about the characters theresa osborn is played by robin wright and i really liked her performance in the movie she was given minimalist makeup and her hair was unkempt in most parts yet she looked beautiful not beautiful the way the author described her in the book or Maybe the author used the wrong words to describe particularly her physical appearance like she have long legs and flat stomach or she doesn't look as old as she was blah 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 in the same way he described Garrett like he's tall and broad shouldered and have muscular arms and hypnotic eyes <laughs> you got me and yes i understand that character description is important but i don't like the emphasis that the author was putting up on the physical attributes of both the lead characters because then that made me feel as if their relationship was based on physical attraction rather than deep love for one another which the author was badly trying to prove and though i have no complaints with robin as theresa i wasn't very happy with kevin costner as garrett he was dull and melancholic which was required in most scenes but even in scenes where other emotions were required we see the same dull flat expression they should have considered someone else as garrett and if i talk about the chemistry between the lead characters both in the book and in the movie it was okay both the characters lacked real emotions they appeared 
more desperate to get out of their gloomy lives and be in love than actually being in love and it's just that they got along swimmingly they got into bed quickly and then they were asking the important question like do they even love each other and i don't know if it's a cultural thing and i really want to ask this and i'm not asking this as an insult but i've seen it in so many movies and series that americans have sex first and then they talk is it true anyways back to the topic there are many other characters like katherine garrett's father theresa's son and her best friend all of these characters along with a few others are present in the movie as well but their names were changed uh, for some reason that i don't know among all of these supporting characters paul newman was exceptionally well as garrett's supportive and caring father and i really like this character both in the book and the movie though the movie is quite similar to the novel certain changes were made to it some of which worked some didn't many unimportant or less important elements were either removed or cut short from the film certain supporting characters weren't given much screen time and i was going through a few reviews and people were not happy about it as they thought those characters or scenarios were important to understand uh, the story or the characters and their emotions properly and you do feel so you do feel so whenever you watch a movie after finishing a novel everything feels a bit rushed i felt it too but you have to understand that it's a movie they have to wrap everything up within a few hours so they can't include everything plus in my opinion the elements that were eliminated or weren't added to the movie were not that important anyways so it i don't think it's that big a deal and like i said earlier the movie was already 2 hours long and it couldn't be any longer right but yes there were certain scenes where garrett had a tiff with katherine's family he even had a fist fight with her brother they hit garrett and blame him for their daughter's death and these scenarios were not present in the book and in my opinion uh, was an unnecessary add on to the film they should have cut it out and the movie would have been a bit shorter or instead they should have focused more on theresa and garrett's relationship and i would have liked a f- the film a bit more also i wasn't much impressed with the climax though i wasn't expecting such tragic ending but it annoyed me rather than make me sad and it yes it was a bit different and less stupid in the movie than in the book yet it failed to evoke any emotion in me some people called it a tear jerker but i didn't cry at all after reading the book or watching the movie maybe i'm not romantic maybe i'm stone hearted or maybe the ending wasn't just that great i don't want to talk about it in much detail as some of you might want to read the book or watch the movie and i don't want to spoil your experience overall the book is pretty average so is its movie adaptation The story is somewhat unrealistic but then it's a romantic fiction what else you expect right I have mixed feelings for both of them and both have fair share of enjoyable bits and it is kind of entertaining but not much you may read the book if you want a light easy breezy time pass romance novel but if i'll have to choose between the book and the movie i'll go for the film the reason being it is nice and short plus it perfectly captures the beauty and peace of small coastal towns and it is slow paced just like the book but i prefer slow burn romance movies over slow burn romance novels so that's it that's all i have to say right now the book and the movie have a lot more to it than i explained you may read and watch it by yourself to find out and understand it better the movie is available on youtube for free you may watch it if you want to i'll leave the link to the film in the description box and if you like this video like and subscribe for more such fun bookish videos and i'll see you next time goodbye